欢迎来到 Opening for TV 中国，我是李浩洋，也是今天的主持人。今天我们还会有三里在线和大家一起互动，三里和大家打个招呼吧。谢谢浩洋 ，Hello， 大家好，我是三里，和浩洋一起在 OpenStack 基金会工作。我的工作，我的主要工作是管理 Cutter Container 社区和市场营销。非常感谢大家今天能够上线收听峰会的精彩亮点。呃，也感谢我们此次峰会的赞助商华为 Canonical 以及 Vex h o s t 腾讯和中兴，呃，让我们来一起看一看开源基础峰会、开源基础设施峰会第一天的主题演讲精华，以及简要预览一下明天的主题演讲精彩内容吧。不要忘记喽，你也可以通过 summit dot open infra dot cn 来全程回看完整的主题演讲内容。就在本周，大家将可以遇见来自一百二十多个国家地区的社区的老朋友和新朋友们。此次峰会也会有超过三十多个开源社区的社区成员参加，一定要记得抽些时间来参加分论坛议题的聊天，并参与互动，以及访问我们的 Open Infra 线上大厅，也就是 Open Infra Marketplace。这是第二十一届开源基础设施峰会了。本届的主题是开源基础设施的下一个十年。OpenStack 基金会在峰会最开始的时候就分享了关于基金会迈出持续发展的下一步的计划，以构建开源社区来开发可以用于产品化的开源基础设施软件。这个计划就是 OpenStack 基金会即将成为开源基础设施基金会。现在让我们一起来回顾一下主题演讲时的发布公告。也请记得访问 openinfra.gov/join 来了解如何更贡献和参与到全球社区。This is、uh, the tenth anniversary of OpenStack. We just had the twenty-second OpenStack release, and this year we've been thinking,、um, you know, really how did all of this get started? And if we go back to the beginning, how this started was about an idea. This all started with an idea that. There should be open source infrastructure as a service software. As we enter this period of time, where more than ever we all depend on digital infrastructure for the things that are、uh, are important in our lives, and that is a thing that I think、um, at the time was a big idea. But we had a very small group that was starting that out. We had about 25 people、um, that really formed up what、uh, what what started back then, and、uh, it was about 20,000 lines of code, so almost no software at all. And over time, we had hundreds of community members who joined in, and then it was thousands, and then tens of thousands. And together, what we all did is we added more capabilities into more OpenStack projects. And then across the open source ecosystem, we saw projects like Cloud Foundry that that、uh, started up. We saw Ceph, Open vSwitch. Now we have Kubernetes, and、uh, and this whole idea of open source infrastructure has become more relevant than ever today. And what's incredible when you think about what's happening right now, there's just more and more being created. I mean, I would be surprised if this week we see new ideas turn into new communities and start writing new software. And we really believe in creating communities that write software to run in production. And one of the things that we're so excited about is some of the new companies that are actually getting involved right now. In fact, just in the past week, our board of directors met, and we had four new companies. That applied to become platinum members and were accepted to that board meeting for for next year, and that's never happened before in a single year, let alone in a single board meeting. And that's just incredible. We had companies like Ant Group, who has a, the AliPay platform, which is we'll be hearing more about later today from one of their engineers. We had Facebook、uh, Connectivity, we had Fiber Home, and Wind River. So that really puts us on an amazing course. And these are the companies that believe in this community-led. Open source community building software、uh, approach. So, like Mark said, now we have、uh, we have new communities, we have new companies, we have、uh, new technologies, and I think that、uh, this is a really exciting time. And one of the things that we are super happy to be able to announce today is that we are announcing the Open Infrastructure Foundation as the successor to the OpenStack Foundation. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Come、yeah. pie! <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is this is exciting. This、yeah. is really great news, and it's something that I think、uh, you know represents 
where we have gotten to as our community. Yeah, and, uh, we are open in front. <laughs>对于新的开源基础设施基金会的目标和下一个十年的战略有没有什么想要问的如果大家有任何问题或评论可以在评论区留言我们会及时回复是的同时和大家预告一下我们也即将和国内的白金成员公司的代表访谈做一些访谈的
20 years ago, you would procure some physical hardware. And as an application deployer, you would install an operating system, your dependencies, and your applications directly on top of that. Then we started to add more abstractions, more layers. We added hardware virtualization abstracting the server you're deploying on from the physical hardware that runs it. Then we added cloud APIs to allow to programmatically access those virtualized resources. So you have programmable infrastructure on one side and cloud native applications being deployed on top of that. More recently, we added a new layer, um, application deployment APIs. That is what Kubernetes provides, higher level primitives to deploy complex applications on top of this programmable infrastructure. So you get the idea here. There is a growing new role of providing infrastructure for application deployers to deploy on. And that is the population that we care about when we talk about open infrastructure, giving that population open source solutions for providing infrastructure. And the solution is not one project hosted by one foundation. You have to mix a lot of ingredients, lots of building blocks, to build a solution that is customized to your needs. To facilitate that, we need to collaborate without boundaries, to integrate various solutions, to test that all things work well together. Containers，两个项目都刚刚庆祝了新的版本发布。第二十二个OpenStack版本Victoria已经于上周发布，而Kata we are using OpenStack to deploy applications and running microservices at Workday. It allows developers to build ones and deploy their application across all the data centers in a very consistent manner. Uh, we are experiencing a good rapid growth at Workday of our OpenStack deployments. One of the primary reasons is the Workday's business growth itself. Uh, as we are getting new customers, we need to grow our platform where we are running this uh, our applications. And also another driver is moving legacy applications to a virtualized platform. Our current deployment of OpenStack, we are running on five different data centers. We have 45 uh, running clusters, 39,000 something uh, VM and 422,000 cores. In 2018, we announced Kata containers 1.0 in Vancouver. After that, we kept improve, improving the Kata containers and contribute to related communities. And we have released 12 1.0 stable releases in the past two years. Today, we are proud to announce the release of 2.0 of Kata. Lightweight is a feature of the Kata. In 2.0, one of the major improvements is to reduce the sandboxing overhead. By rewriting the Kata agent with Rust language, and employing TTRPC instead of the GRPC for the agent protocol. The Kata agents have already changed the memory consumption from 11 megabytes to 400 or 300 kilobytes. That's about 140 of the 1000X. OpenStack的使用案例。Hi, OpenStack. This is Fu Qiao from Beijing. Today, I'm here to represent our China Mobile Network Cloud Integration Team. 
Our team are engaging in building one of the world's largest OpenStack cloud, including more than 60,000 physical nodes. In China, the network cloud supports core network service virtualization, including 5G and 4G. To improve the efficiency and quality of such large-scale multi-vendor cloud, our team develops automation tools and cross-vendor CI-CD pipeline. The team is consist of three sub-teams, namely the architecture and solution team, CI-CD and automation tools developing team, and deployment and delivery team. Open infrastructure brings benefit of agility and efficiency to telco. However, it also increases the complexity of the network. Cross-vendor integration becomes one of the biggest challenges. Since 2019, we used Auto, our self-developed integration and testing tool, to support OpenStack cloud deployment and testing on 68 resource pools across eight regions. Auto helps reduce the integration period of network cloud by one third. It only takes 80 minutes for Auto to finish the hardware integration on a resource pool of more than 1,000 physical nodes. In the meantime, we also set up CI-CD pipeline to provide integration testing on multi-vendor cloud, with which we are able to continuously deploy and test vendor OpenStack for more than 17 times within two weeks, and each round only cost us less than five hours. The team has been contributing to OpenStack since 2013. So far, we have given one keynotes and nine sessions in OpenStack Summit and have served in programming committee for six times. We also engage in the telco and edge computing working group. In the meantime, we are also the founding members and active contributors in OPNFE and CNTT. We are very happy to be the nominee for the super user of OpenStack, and we would like to continuously contribute and support OpenStack Summit. So thank you and wish you all a happy summit. 下面我们回顾了一下第一阶段的主题演讲的高光片段。下面让我们来看一下第二天的一些主题演讲的精彩预告吧。so why are we using Zoom? Well, one of the developers said this in a really good way, and he believes that premium cars need premium tools, and Zoom is a premium tool. And it forces us to have a green master, and in that way we increase our development speed. Uh, for example, the one-pedal drive of Polestar 2 was built with Zoom. Zoom version 3, uh, why do we use that? Well, to handle development in an NVIDIA central computer, where there are many teams with different garrets, and we have the introduction of cloud nodes, we really need Zoom version 3. And here we rely on cross-project dependencies, which is a feature of Zoom. And as mentioned many times before, the most important feature of Zoom is the gating system. Do not merge broken code. We believe that if open source clouds are going to be successful in the long run, the open source community needs its own cloud. In 2018, we reached out to the OpenStack Foundation to explore our idea, and we thought we were going to piss them off. But Mark and Jonathan said, yes, finally. And together, we launched Open InfoLabs. We got together in real life to talk and plan. We had concrete goals and great clarity on our MVP. And I'm not kidding here. This is a card we wrote that day. It's really hard to argue with avoid doom as an MVP. Our goal is to create a federated large scale cloud starting with academia. A lot has happened in the wonderful world of OpenStack since our last open infrastructure summit a year ago. Two software releases in fact, the Ushuri and Victoria releases. As Dawson mentioned, Yushuri saw a lot of growth in new areas of technology, particularly around encryption and security. In the most recent release, Victoria, Ironic saw an over 60% increase in activity and landed changes focused on reducing the footprint of its standalone service and supporting more systems at the edge. There was also a focus on hardware enablement and with that came more support and more ways of interacting with FPGAs, which is an area that we expect to continue to grow in the Wallaby release in April. There's always more work to be done, and we always welcome more contributors. 
不要忘记了，所有的峰会内容都可以在网站上全程回看，并且 Open Infra 线上大厅也会在官方的峰会平台网站全天的开放，网址是 summit dot open infra dot cn。祝大家在峰会收获满满！谢谢大家的参与和支持。